So hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Kudasat. We are excited to introduce you a completed new series format where we will deep dive into developer story and glean the valuable insight from their journey. So just heads up, there might be some slightly dip in some video quality due to remote interview recording, but we apologize for this in advance. So despite this, we have something truly exciting and insightful for you. Trust us, the content is worth every minute. So grab your favorite snack, get comfortable and stick around till the end to get the most out of this experience. So let's dive right in and explore this amazing topic together. So let's get started. Okay, so hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Codaset. In this series of episodes, we are going to talk about journey of developers where we showcasing inspiring story, valuable insight from developer around the world. So my name is Jitend and today we have a special guest joining us, Mr. Rohan Ghosh. So as a skilled and successful software engineer, or we can say developer with incredible journey to share. So uh, welcome to episode, uh, Rohan. Thank you very much, Jitendra. And hope you are doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just to, I just wanted to clarify that uh, I'm not a developer. I was a developer, but I will okay, explain okay. more about what I'm doing right now. Okay, this. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So, before going to deep dive, okay. So let's start the very start with the very first questions. Okay. So, what is the current? Uh, professional landscape, you can say what is your uh, current, what you're doing, what is your job roles, what are your positions, what are key skills you're utilizing in work currently. So just describe what your current professional uh, uh, landscape or technology. Yeah, so currently uh, my job role is a solution, uh, solutions architect at AWS. Okay. And as a solutions architect, uh, our primary role is to do system designs for okay. our customers. Mm -hmm. So when our customers onboard in AWS, they are not much familiar with the 220 mm -hmm. plus products that we are having. Okay, so okay. it's our job to educate them mm -hmm. and we take the requirements, we build the mm -hmm. system design. We also mm -hmm. work with partners like TCS, Accenture, Deloitte. Mm -hmm. We also educate mm -hmm. them as well. Okay. And uh, after creating the architecture, the system design, mm -hmm. we ask for POC. And once okay. approved, we also show them a mini POC of the okay. final. Okay, okay. Other okay. service that they're building. Mm -hmm. So that's the entire end to end journey. And apart mm -hmm. from this, we also mm -hmm. organize events okay. like uh, AWS London Summit is happening mm -hmm. uh, in, in May. And okay. uh, we also organize educational seminars, events, uh, plenty of things. So it's really an exciting role. Yeah. Okay, okay. So just a little bit talk about like what is your current like uh, city or your London, right? So is there yeah, right. So many London. offices like how how you are in like how London different from the you know or, uh, AWS? I think is there any offices in India in AWS, especially for AWS? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah, uh, there are uh, multiple offices in Hyderabad, Bangalore, and Kolkata, okay. Mumbai, and AWS also has two regions. In, okay. in India, one is in Hyderabad, another is in Mumbai, I guess. Yeah, yeah, recently, and I think this uh, year. Yeah, yeah, one new yeah. region got introduced. Yeah. And uh, also, AWS has one of its biggest office in Hyderabad. Not only AWS, it's actually an okay. Amazon office, but it's a common office, you know, that we share. Oh, OK, OK. And in London, uh, we have two offices, mm -hmm. primarily, and some mm -hmm. smaller ones in other cities, like Manchester. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. So, so is there like suppose someone want to become a you know in same role like AWS or so? I think I'm going through your uh, LinkedIn profile. So you mentioned enterprise solution architect as AWS. So what is uh, architect means? Just give you a rough idea, like normal thing. What is as an architect, architect? What is your role? Yeah. So as an architect, I design systems. So okay. there are uh, plenty of AWS services and products. Mm -hmm. Okay. A customer comes to us with their mm -hmm. requirements and mm -hmm. the problem they are facing. Okay. Our job is to connect all those services and products to create mm -hmm. a solution. You know, okay. yeah. build the system design, show to the customer, explain mm -hmm. the system design to them, and probably show them a demo by okay. implementing the things in our own AWS uh, lab mm -hmm. accounts and okay. show them how things are working so that mm -hmm. they can implement the mm -hmm. things themselves or they can bring in some partner like TCS okay. Accenture to build the solution mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. and, and and it can be any kind of solution it can be a website mm -hmm. it can be a data analytics solution it can okay. be a data warehouse it can be a machine learning or artificial intelligence solution okay. so and it it could be iot related thing mm -hmm. you know, where you collect data from the sensors deployed in uh, the uh, several machineries or cars and you okay. take the data you uh, you create the analytics you create the dashboards mm -hmm. you search for some anomalies so mm -hmm. that you can get the alert so there are mm -hmm. endless possibilities that you do with aws solutions uh, our mm -hmm. job is to build the solutions show the customer mm -hmm. what's possible with aws okay okay so suppose any developer want to become in your roles okay so what are the skills or how, how they can go to that uh, position or that uh, jobs i'm just giving you like how we can build up career or go through that uh, yeah. positions. So uh, there is there is a huge difference between the software development engineer role and oh, yeah. uh, a solutions yeah, yeah. architect role. So when you are a software development engineer or SD mm -hmm. or SWE, you okay. focus primarily on coding, data structures, mm -hmm. and algorithms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, 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 right. You focus particularly on one module. Mm -hmm. You you are given the task that you need to build this module. Okay. UI engineer will build the UI as a backend mm -hmm. engineer. will build the backend logic. Mm -hmm. Probably you also need to have some SQL or database skills. Mm -hmm. As a, I mean, as a full stack developer, you need to have mm -hmm. those skills because yeah. initially, you know, when mm -hmm. I was in, working in Ericsson, uh, I was yeah. a full stack developer, so I had okay. I needed to have those skills. Okay, okay. And as a solutions architect, mm -hmm. you need to know coding. You need to know how a software works. You mm -hmm. know how okay, the okay. UI works. How the mm -hmm backend works how it mm -hmm. connects to the database mm -hmm. how you how, how the microservices architecture works because you know okay. now most yeah. of the services we deploy as microservices uh, okay. in, in either kubernetes or as a, mm -hmm. in, in an even driven serverless mm -hmm. pattern mm -hmm. previously it was purely based on virtual machine or physical service, okay. but okay. now yeah. it's not the uh, same scenario and so yeah. soft how, how a software works how a web service or website works that one part okay. then you need to know end to end how the networking works okay, okay. how everything is connected okay what's the router mm -hmm. what's the switch what is a local area network what's mm -hmm. a wide area network you okay. know how how what is vpn what okay. is direct connect so mm -hmm. these things you need to know in detail okay, okay. because before deploying any service or any mm -hmm. software you need mm -hmm. to build the backbone and that consists of the network okay, okay. you okay. also need to know about the compute Mm -hmm. In in, in on-premises world, you need to know about mm -hmm. the VMware virtualization. Mm -hmm. In cloud okay. world, you need to know about the virtual machines, compute. Okay. And mm -hmm. there are several other types of computes available. Like right now, we are having serverless compute like AWS Lambda, mm -hmm. where you don't need to run any kind of virtual machine. You, you, it executes whenever it's invoked. Okay. okay. So networking is done. Uh, you know how a software works. Then comes operating systems. Linux. Okay. That's mm -hmm. also really, really important. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So suppose so you are uh, like we are Fraser, right? For like, uh, like suppose you are in graduations or maybe you are uh, joining for placement. Okay. So is this well uh, like can we somebody directly go to AWS or maybe first we have to uh, learn the fundamental then use or, or is there directly job like I think most of the of colleagues or developer i'm kind of connected so they are already two year three year experiences they are then they are going to you know aws or maybe more depth in uh, cloud services right or any cloud mm -hmm. job so is there any uh, direct opportunity for the student just they are you know college i'm talking about as a final uh, year they are uh, targeting for placement yeah. or company if you want to become an sd okay, mm -hmm. you have the mm -hmm. direct opportunity you know there are plenty of people in india mm -hmm. as well who get uh, uh, placement in AWS directly from college, okay, AWS okay. and Amazon. Okay. But if you want to become a solutions architect, uh, mm. either you need to have at least uh, two, three years of experience. Okay. And 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 either as a software engineer or as a support engineer, you know, or okay. as a DevOps engineer. It doesn't okay. matter. You you can belong to any kind of background. Okay. okay you okay. need to learn some additional skills, like you need to do the certifications mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. AWS solutions architect, and uh, you need to learn a little bit about system designing. Mm -hmm. from udemy or youtube from whatever service you can okay. and then you need to apply so that's how i i crack aws okay interview. okay yeah and, that's uh, yeah for yeah. college uh, students there is another opportunity it's called mm -hmm. tech U program from mm -hmm. aws okay. okay so it's it's kind of like an internship 
uh, paid internship where you uh, get you get rotated through multiple teams mm -hmm. and then uh, management decides where you are fitting whether okay. you are a good fit for the solutions architect team whether mm -hmm. you are a good fit for the support team then mm -hmm. it's decided so tech queue is for primarily for the university graduates and that's okay. a good point of entry and uh, yep so okay. as you yeah. become a solutions architect you either need to have two three years of experience or you okay. need to go via the tech program oh okay, okay yeah that's interesting so i think i'm more interested like uh, about your journey about how you have become out uh, what is currently you are you know like how you are developer journey how your path follow because yeah. uh, there is very interesting also i'm just uh, uh, acknowledging our uh, audience that uh, rohan is haven't got any college placement but still they have chances how we can crack the googles how can go to googles you know they also how can go to the adult because uh, all this journey uh, how the rohan has received so i think there was no any college placement but still they're in the on top of the you know uh, take jobs so also i i personally have you know too much interest in that so uh, let's go and talk about that or how your journey so start from the basic what was your first company how you know, go to this diff different positions and how uh and also what is your thought process that time like how you are thinking so is directly yeah. company come to us or have you applied somewhere or you got the opportunity or you are just uh shown interest in this company either any of this platform like linkedin career platform so also talk about your uh, this uh, development uh, career journey uh, what the different roles and positions and then little lot talk about how was your thought process in that time okay yeah so this answer is going to take some time <laughs> okay, okay that's fine yeah so uh you know in in college uh, um, uh, when when tcs came for placement uh, mm -hmm. my cgpa was not 6.75 my cgpa was around 6.55 mm -hmm. so i was not eligible to sit for uh, thesis okay. this way. so okay. i missed that and after that also some companies came where i couldn't mm. crack the interview mm. and finally i got uh, placed in ericsson from a pool mm. campusing yeah, that, okay. was, that didn't uh, happen in our college that happened in another college where i went the pool campusing and uh, and in third year of the college and in the fourth year of the college i focused mm. heavily on gate preparation okay Mm -hmm. I subscribed to Bravindra Babu Ravula's course, mm -hmm. and uh, that helped me a lot. You know, okay, uh, okay. so you know, books were not helpful for me. Mm -hmm. Books were this much thick, so uh, <laughs> okay, okay. It, it's it's never a good source for me. I always <laughs> prefer video lectures. I open mm -hmm. YouTube or Udemy, mm -hmm. or any any course like Coursera. I, I note down all the important points from from the videos, and okay. I use that as a material. Doesn't matter for for what thing I'm preparing for. OK, OK. So I did that course, but I was mm -hmm. not able to crack the gate. I, I didn't even qualify. The qualifying okay. marks was 25, but mm -hmm. I got okay. around 22 or 23. Okay. But that entire course material, the mm -hmm. data structures, algorithms, uh, mm -hmm. databases, you know, computer mm -hmm. networking, mm -hmm. those became the pillars of my upcoming journey. OK, OK. So okay. It doesn't matter in what line you will be getting into mm -hmm. later, but mm -hmm. these four or five subjects this okay. should be always the pillar and the, and the, the as it should always remain as the base of your future yeah so yeah, uh, so I, I was really strong in those areas hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter whether i was able to crack it or not because you know one hmm. exam cannot decide whether you are yeah yeah, yeah yeah definitely definitely yeah so that helped uh i i kept on revising those topics again mm -hmm. and again when I was working in Ericsson. I mm -hmm. learned a lot in my first job, you know, mm -hmm. the, the way we do projects in college. Mm -hmm. So nowadays, these things have changed a lot. People actually know through the help of YouTube and, uh, you know, uh, mediums like yours, like mm -hmm. Coders Arts, people mm -hmm. yes. actually know what's the best practices of building a software mm -hmm. or a project. Back yeah. in our time, you know, mm -hmm. there was hardly any guidance. Mm -hmm. And we also didn't know that these things are available on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I also felt the same thing because there is now tons of courses on different, you know, different subjects. There are lots yeah. of things available. Okay. Yeah. So that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so while working in Ericsson, uh, mm -hmm. I also appeared in uh, two, three uh, exams called Elitmus AMCAT. 
and yeah. and i appeared in these exams when i was trying to find a job you know i was i didn't get placement by that time in ericsson so yeah. in elitmus luckily i got a good score and okay. elitmus provides excellent placements to mm -hmm. freshers even now uh, even in during these days as well mm -hmm. so i suddenly saw that cisco is hiring from elitmus for a uh, tech engineer role i didn't know what's a tech engineer i just saw <laughs> okay, that the salary okay. is good yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> First year student, I also was not sure like if some company is paying good. Yeah. Let's go to that role. Yep, yep. Uh, so, but the role is really important, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely. so uh, uh, from full stack, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I, I didn't know that I was going to get into a support role from full stack <laughs> okay. developer role to a support role. Okay. 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 But no, it was really helpful for me and mm -hmm. and later. Mm -hmm. So. I uh, applied to that and I mm. got the call because you know mm. my elite must scores were good, mm. so they they first shortlist based on your elite must scores and then mm. you need to I I had to go to Bangalore. So mm. previously I I couldn't crack four or five different uh, interviews by elite must. I went to mm. Bangalore. I was mm. not able to crack. I came back. Okay. And but this time uh, the content and the material. Uh, uh, which Ravindra Rabula taught in, in his mm. gate course, mm. those okay. came into the play mm. because the format of the exam was like first you need to appear uh, in, a, in a written exam, which consisted okay. of C, mm. uh, database, and mm. uh, networking. Okay. And then once you clear that, then mm. comes two, three rounds of technical interview. Okay. So the questions that uh, came in the written exam, mm. those were exactly. Those were like the easy gate questions, okay, and okay. Uh, I was able to uh, solve that easily within time. Mm -hmm. And then the interview happened, and mm -hmm. uh, after I came back. I thought that I didn't get didn't get the placement, but okay. after one month, I got a call from Tech Systems because you mm -hmm. know it was a contract role initially. Yes, yes, yeah. So yeah, Tech yeah. System was the parent company. They called mm -hmm. me and mm -hmm. told me that you are selected. So. I was not sure whether to go or not because you know when when the mm. contract ends, mm. uh, that means that either it needs to get extended or you know you are done. You <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not not sure when we will get the next one, right? <laughs> but that time, uh, the only thing that uh, was uh, that was mattering to me is the mm. money. Okay. So I I opted in and uh, I left Ericsson. I joined Cisco, okay. and I spent. Uh, I mean, till now, I would mm. say that I have spent the best of my uh, time, mm. professional career time in Cisco. The okay. campus was beautiful. My colleagues mm. were great. Mm. And uh, I learned a lot. And from there, I built some expertise, some okay. more in-depth expertise in networking technologies. Okay. I did CCNA. I, 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 I have two CCNAs, which are going to expire mm. this year. Mm. and. Uh, I, I didn't even apply for any kind of jobs that time, you know, for one mm -hmm. and a half year, I enjoyed the time. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I, uh, so in between that time, I also got, uh, uh, so my contract got converted into a full-time role in that okay. time. So, so my you're talking salary, Cisco, right? Currently we are working Cisco. with Cisco. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. my salary became almost double than what okay. I was getting in, okay. in the contract. Okay. So for almost another seven or eight months, I didn't look for any role. Mm. And uh, one day I saw that Google was hiring for uh, this cloud technical solutions engineer role, which is focused so, so on networking. How, so how, how did you get to know, like uh, LinkedIn or maybe Gully? Yeah, it's in LinkedIn. So mm. one of my friends just sent me the link mm. of the job and told me that, see, there's Google is hiring and the skill mm. sets seem similar to your skill sets. Okay. So I casually applied, you know, okay. I, <laughs> I, I didn't have any preparation, anything. But one mm -hmm. thing I did was my, I prepared the CV according to the okay. job role. Okay, that's mm -hmm. very important. If you want your CV to get shortlisted, mm -hmm. the keywords which are mentioned in the job role that they must be there in your CV. Okay, At okay. least eighty percent should be there, you know? <laughs> and okay. and you might need to take 20, 30 percent of the skill sets. But mm -hmm. you need to make sure that if you get the call in interview, you okay. acquired those skill sets via Udemy or okay. by doing some hands-on work, by doing some mm -hmm. project before the interview day. You know? Okay. I mean, faking means, I mean, it's like working backwards, you know? You know what okay. needs to be done to get that job, and yes, you exactly. start preparing. Mm -hmm. It, it yeah. need not be that way that you need to have those skill sets beforehand. 
Okay. okay. So I, I applied this throughout all my entire career. I work okay. backwards from the requirements. Okay, okay. So just I'm just to give you one pause. Yeah. Like so, uh, Cisco. What are your top skills? Like, can you give brief brief out what are the skills you learn and and what are the important skills also you should have? Like your or uh, yeah. First is uh, talk about the skills like like full stack with like Java, any front end, back end. What we are working on. So just little explain about that uh, skills. Yeah, in in Cisco, uh, I I was a technical uh, assistance center mm -hmm. engineer, which is known mm -hmm. as technical consulting engineer role. Okay. So okay. it's it's a customer support role where mm -hmm. you you were you were assigned to a particular domain. Like my domain mm -hmm. was Cisco collaboration. Mm -hmm. I was working with Cisco telepresence technologies mm -hmm. like uh, Cisco Webex. You know, mm -hmm. and I was providing support to the customers. And uh, my primary skill set was uh, network troubleshooting. Okay. At okay. at protocol level, so you know all the TCP UDP stack okay, okay. Uh, and uh, the entire stack. I I had to know the networking mm -hmm. protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, okay. in depth how the protocols are working. Mm -hmm. We need to take packet captures from devices, and we need to analyze the packets. If you don't know the protocols, you won't be able to analyze where it's, yeah, where yeah. it's going wrong. So yeah. the the entire skill set was networking based, and mm -hmm. along with that, some Linux skills we always needed to have, you know, oh, because yeah. uh, in in Cisco, so you install softwares in virtual machines, and during those installation, you need to have those Linux skills. Okay. So by that time, uh, and and also I built uh, an internal tool in Python using okay. Flask framework for okay, our yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it was not for any client. It was not for any customer. It was just a fun project that we did internally to track okay. all the Cisco telepresence devices mm -hmm. which present in our floor. Okay. So that's uh, when I learned about uh, Python and mm -hmm. uh, also Flask framework. Mm -hmm. Previously, when I was working in Ericsson, I was a full stack developer. I was working on Java and Spring okay. uh, Spring framework mm -hmm. and uh, at database layer, it was MySQL. At mm -hmm. UI layer, it was simple, you know, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Okay. And uh, so I got, I revised those skill sets and I used those in uh, in, mm -hmm. in building that tool. And okay. building a tool using Python, Flask, it was really easy. You know, if you, if you are building a tool using Java and Spring Framework, mm -hmm. it requires a lot more work in setting okay. up your Eclipse environment, mm -hmm. all the dependencies. You know, yeah, now you can use tools like Maven mm -hmm. or any any package uh, builder solution so that all the dependencies gets connected mm -hmm. together. That time it was really hard for us because you know there was. Uh, I mean, there was lack of guidance also, like okay. how we can we, we need to manage all the dependencies together. But now we well, now there are plenty of videos available and tools available also, which you can just add to your ID and you okay. can use those. Okay. okay. So by the time I got call from Google and the call mm -hmm. came as a surprise, I never expected that I will get call from Google. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. got the call because the skill sets were matching in my CV, mm -hmm. and I had to two of the prestigious companies in in my uh, oh, so, CV. So, can you, where are you working? Like, uh, what was your location in? I, mean, I was still in Cisco that time. You know, it's, yeah, so it's Bang been, Bangalore. Uh, or where is Bangalore? Bangalore? Yeah. Okay. Bangalore. So you in Cisco? You were two years or more than that? I worked in Cisco for two years. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. So, so. then I got the call, and mm -hmm. the recruiter told me about the format. So mm -hmm. there's going to be uh, one assignment that will mm -hmm. be sent to me. It was a mm -hmm. uh, it was a coding assignment where I mm -hmm. don't need to write a code, mm -hmm. but there is a code. I need to find out how the code can be improved and optimized, okay. and what's going to be the output of that code. So okay. that was the assignment. Okay. And it was not a tough one. I mean, for, for someone who is doing coding regularly in college, mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, they will be able to solve those kind of problems. So but is that there was for, so, uh, there was, there was timeline, to... yeah. So the, they provided uh, one week to complete okay. that. Okay, okay. So I completed that and I submitted it with the recommendations and optimization mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. options. and. Uh, uh, then I came to know that okay, yeah, my solution. They like my solution. Now mm -hmm. they want me to come to, for the interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
the entire interview was virtual because uh, the interviewers were from Japan, Singapore, mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. those regions. Because mm -hmm. Google uh, Cloud didn't have uh, their team presence. I mean, they were just starting to build the team, the support team in India. Okay, so okay. Most of the interviewers were from other APAC regions. Mm -hmm. so I was one of the founding members of the Cloud Technical Services Engineering Team for networking. No. Okay, so this was like 2019-20 uh, or which was this, this was 2019. Oh, um, okay. at, during the end of 2019, you know, okay. it started in November. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, then the first round was an overall uh, overview of my knowledge in networking mm -hmm. and little mm -hmm. bit in uh, operating system, mm -hmm. uh, Linux, those things. And mm -hmm. the last ten minute was it. Uh, another coding assignment where they mm -hmm. showed one full code. So they mm -hmm. asked me what language you are coming because you know in cloud technical services engineer role, you mm -hmm. don't need to do any kind of coding, but you mm -hmm. must know how a code is working, how the logic is working. Okay, so okay. It, the co it's like it, it it was like code reading and finding mm -hmm. the bugs by doing mm -hmm. dry runs in your hand. Mm -hmm. So in that ten minute assignment, I couldn't find what was wrong, but okay. I that this could be a possibility why the output is coming as a negative on that kind and okay. that came that 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 was the correct answer actually hmm. and uh, yep so first round was gone and then it followed by three four more technical rounds i think there was in total five or six technical rounds okay so e all and the interview so all the interview connected in one day or maybe uh, no 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 uh, different different days okay okay and and in amazon it's different it's in okay. amazon you need to dedicate one full day okay it's okay. called loop but okay, google okay. you know the interview goes for three four months mm -hmm. and uh, you get ample amount of time for preparing in between the interviews okay okay and uh, so each of the technical rounds they focused on different areas like some focused mm -hmm. on networking I think mm -hmm. it was a networking heavy interview mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, the role was networking role. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to work on the Google Cloud's networking products like load mm -hmm. balancers, VPCs, mm -hmm. those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, then some other uh, uh, some other rounds focused on web technologies and mm -hmm. uh, Linux operating systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and and then there was a round which was non technical, which is known mm -hmm. as Googliness round. Mm -hmm. where they they see your if you are culturally fit for the company or not okay whether you have that uh, team mindset mm -hmm. or whether you have, have that customer obsession within you to help mm -hmm. the customer going out of your way mm -hmm. so those things they check by probing into some questions and mm -hmm. uh, finally the result came and i came to know that i was selected mm -hmm. so i joined google and mm -hmm. i worked for around two months there and then covid happened you know okay, okay all okay. The, the office got closed mm. and uh, all the google facilities mm. i i could only enjoy those facilities for around two months and then everything is gone mm. so uh yeah i worked there for one and a half years and i worked uh, primarily on all the google cloud networking mm -hmm. products Okay. like firewall load balancer mm -hmm. content delivery network mm -hmm. i was providing support to the customers who were onboarding into google cloud like mm -hmm. whenever they are facing any issues they used to open mm -hmm. cases mm -hmm. our job is to uh, resolve those case cases okay. Okay. and uh, uh, apart from that we used to also build some uh, or suggest some solutions although mm -hmm. i mean yeah, uh, that was the primary role of the solution architects but we in, in support we had the freedom to go out of our way and help the customer mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, like it's been almost uh, three and a half years in support role you know okay. two years in cisco one and a half years so i was thinking mm -hmm. probably now i should get into some hands-on kind of thing okay it was becoming too monotonous mm -hmm. and it was becoming easy for me Mm -hmm. So whenever you know that's an indication. <laughs> whenever you get comfortable with doing something, that okay. that's an indication that you need to look for a change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more interesting, more changing, or yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then I thought that I, I know I need a change now. Mm -hmm. So to do more hands-on kind of work, I first searched for roles within Google. Mm -hmm. So in India, um, as I didn't have much experience by that time, and mm -hmm. uh, it required slightly higher experience. I was mm -hmm. not eligible for those kind of roles, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, in in uh, Dublin, there were 
roles outside mm. India, mm. but the roles were mostly support roles. So I was not interested in those kind of roles. Mm. So I, searched, I started searching in the partner companies like mm. all the TCS, Accenture, mm. Deloitte. Mm. And uh, within India, there was an issue like my uh, Google actually pays higher. Mm. And, mm. and, uh, and you know, this, if, if you go to service companies that mm. time, they were not able to afford me at that mm. level. Okay, so okay. what I did, mm. uh, I, I started searching outside India. Mm. And uh, my location preferences was uh, Singapore, Dubai, mm. UK, mm. Uh, okay. Ireland, these locations. Mm -hmm. So in, in London, I applied for Accenture and Deloitte and a few other companies. And I got call from both Accenture and Deloitte, you know. So I mean, same, you can, OK, so yes. same job roles or maybe different? Role? No, 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 different role. It was uh, a consultant kind of role where you need to do all the hands on. Okay, okay. I mean, not not support role. You know, you need mm -hmm. to build end to end things for the customers and clients. Okay. So I I uh, appeared in the interview for Accenture, and uh, they were looking for Google Cloud engineers. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, there were three rounds, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, you you get the call only if if the company is providing visa for you. Okay. Like not if, uh, from India, you can apply to any companies outside India, but mm -hmm. uh, they won't call you if they are not sponsoring visa. Okay. Like in UK also, plenty of companies are sponsoring visa right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Accenture agreed to sponsor the visa. They kind of did an interview and I was able to crack the interview. And uh, then the visa process took around two months mm -hmm. and I finally came to London. Okay. And in Accenture, Although I was hired as a Google Cloud engineer, mm -hmm. but the project that was given to me that was based on Microsoft Azure. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn Azure from scratch. Okay. And I also learned DevOps. You know, previously when I used to build software or build anything, mm -hmm. I I didn't use any DevOps tools, you know, without pipeline we used to build. But that's mm -hmm. not okay. that's not the best building practice. Whenever you are <laughs> yeah, yeah. checking in any code or anything, you should Go, it should go through a proper pipeline and it should yeah. follow a proper repository, mm -hmm. you know, the proper CI CD you should follow. So I learned yeah, all those things. Yeah, yeah. I learned all those things in uh, mm -hmm. well when I was in Accenture and mm -hmm. uh, I implemented those. I I did a migration project from on prem to cloud uh, for mm -hmm. one of the clients. Mm -hmm. And then I, I worked for another uh, another asset management company. I mm -hmm. built uh, some POC for and, and a business case for them so mm -hmm. that they can move from on-prem to cloud. And after that, uh, I was not actually looking for any any job change that time. You know, by by okay. this time, I'm in Accenture and it's my mm -hmm. fourth company in, in four years almost. <laughs> okay, okay. And not four years, five years. Yeah. Okay, okay. But suddenly, I got call from Amazon. You know, for this solutions architect role. Okay, so without and any applying, you are not applying. Without any you? applying, no, no. Okay. I mean, okay. yeah, yeah. If you if you keep your LinkedIn profile up to date with all the mm -hmm. skills, all the certifications, you okay. are going to get plenty of calls. You know, at, I get at least two three calls per week till now. Okay. okay, okay. It comes automatically, but you just need to keep your profile tidy. So that's the uh, secret. And okay. uh, you also need to be active on the LinkedIn. Like you need to like posts, you need to share mm -hmm. posts. This keeps your profile above. Okay, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like my mind. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, so I, I asked for, uh, I agreed to appear in the interview, you know, because mm -hmm. the role was solutions architect. And mm -hmm. if you're working in a cloud role, mm -hmm. uh, solutions architect is that kind of role where you can settle yourself you know okay, because okay. now you're at the top view from where hmm. you need to design everything you don't need to work at the lower level you work okay. at the higher level you work hmm. and the best part of working as a solutions architect is that you work as a field uh, as a shadow cto for okay. the customers like okay. the customers have because on the customer side they have their cto hmm. their cfo all the c-suites hmm. and line hmm. of business like head of hmm. architect hmm. we work as a shadow CTO for them in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So we directly engage with the C-suites. So that's okay. one of the best part about working at this level. Like you, you talk at the higher level, the highest level possible in the line of business. So 
that's one of the benefit you get i get to interact with lots of uh, people from th those okay. levels okay, okay. and uh, and it's um, it's also our job to show them the benefit of cloud show them the monetary benefit the cost savings that's possible with cloud mm -hmm. And uh, we show them. I mean, yeah, we convince them because you know, solutions are yeah. role. This this is a sales role. Mm -hmm. So we sales representatives they bring customers, and we help them convincing that this technology solve will solve the problem. We build the solution and convince them. Yeah. So that's our also, problem. I was one way, very interesting story about AWS. First time we were using, you know, let's try to use AWS. Okay, so somehow I don't know some services on, but by default I think. Five or ten thousand at most. The money deducted. So I just call the customer. Okay, sir, how the money is deducted? So one, I think from Bangalore got one call from my or So he was explaining. She was explaining everything to me. Or she told me what are things have changed. So just go to just uh, log into AWS. I'm I'm going to some priority support. So then he she mentions that these are things that uh, you. It thinks uh, you have closed the services. You know, services are closed, but they are inactive phases. But it it don't, it don't mean like it will not charge it or something like yeah. that. So it was okay. So she, she called me as so, uh, also to uh, help me all, a lot of these things. Also, uh, she told like okay. So in one week we can refund all your money. So we can because we are I was using our company. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, account okay so she was saying okay so don't worry sir I, if there is something issue i will definitely because initially there are lots of things we are not many of the uh, enterprises using it always okay yeah. but we are thinking we have to help you so i think till now this was very great experiences i got from him as i still i haven't get from the google because also using google google uh, works i think workspace okay so i yeah. that was i my think uh, top of the services i i think i felt also i think that time i felt you know a uh, little bit yeah. emotional how the person is talking i don't know I, some yes. uh, because i was a little bit angry okay so how these things are done you are not yeah. this thing but so with that time also i uh, try to maintain these things okay i also uh, as a company what are the client is facing so i also trying to make that calmness okay also i just what i just called me one time just say just say was thank you okay i'm, I'm very impressed with the yeah see uh, that's uh so we follow our leadership principles you know jeff okay. bezos has created okay. uh, 16 leadership principles and our number one leadership principle is customer okay. obsession okay. so we go i mean over an hour for our customers okay. and uh and we always encourage learning. You know, there was a kid who spent almost sixteen thousand hmm. dollars in AWS by mistake while okay. doing some experiment. Okay. And uh, when his mother called, okay. AWS support uh, refunded all the amount. Yeah, like, and, so the and case, encouraged yeah. the learning on AWS. And uh, and that's that's where we help our customers. Like as yeah. a solutions agreement, it's my duty to guide you so that you don't spend more on the mm -hmm. platform unnecessary you know okay. cost optimization yeah. is yeah. one of our well architected frameworks mm -hmm. pillar mm -hmm. and we've also focused on that so uh, i forgot to tell you about the preparation for aws oh, so okay. yeah. amazon or aws interview it's mm -hmm. a lot different uh, from google interviews or microsoft interviews okay because amazon interviews focus on leadership principles mm -hmm. amazon has 16 leadership principles mm -hmm. you need to uh go back to your career think mm -hmm. about all the moments and you need mm -hmm. to bring examples of those leadership principles and note it down okay during interview there will be questions and they will be asking for those examples mm -hmm. so each leadership principle has some questions okay okay like okay. tell me about a time when you went above and beyond for a customer Okay. you need to provide a relevant example okay mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be a made up example because you know they will go deep and they will find out if you're lying or not <laughs> yeah, if you're yeah. lying yeah you will never get a call from amazon for an, any interview because one of our leadership principle is also earn trust mm -hmm. you know if it's completely fine if you're not able to provide the example but it's very wrong if you're providing a made up story <laughs> yeah so yeah. 60 percent of the interview it was mm -hmm. completely based on leadership principles mm -hmm. and uh, there were two, in total there were three rounds first round was uh, mm -hmm. the first round was the oh, no there were four rounds actually first round was a uh, what i would say a logical reasoning kind of test mm -hmm. you know 
we had two hours to complete the test they shared a link and once that uh, if, if you start the exam you know mm -hmm. there are various logical reasoning kind of questions uh, okay. which will extract your customer obsession capabilities or uh, troubleshooting mm -hmm. capabilities or management capabilities so once you pass that then okay. comes the hiring manager interview mm -hmm. so hiring manager checks the leadership principles some mm -hmm. of your past experiences goes through your cv mm -hmm. and explains you more about the role and uh, try and, and he uh, they they try to match whether you are a good whether you will be a good fit for the interview or not okay 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 so that's the interview matching round so if you pause that round yeah yeah go ahead okay. yeah so uh, so uh if it uh, talk about one or two point like so we're talking about google interview and amazon interview so yeah. how, how they're different how they're similar so just give any rough idea you have had yeah, they are very different because Google interview is heavily focused on the technical side of things. Okay. 85 to 90 percent of the interview is focused on technical capabilities. Mm -hmm. But Amazon interview, it's 70 percent focused on the leadership principles, 30 percent technical. You know, okay. Okay. if okay. Google is taking five technical rounds, Amazon mm -hmm. will probably take two technical rounds and okay. rest, they will focus on the cultural fit, the mm -hmm. leadership principles part. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, because yeah. Amazon believes that if you are having the leadership principles, mm -hmm. the technical part that can be coached. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's the philosophy of uh, Amazon. And uh, yeah, so there were uh, three technical rounds. First mm -hmm. round was an assign. They provided me an assignment. Like mm -hmm. they provided me a cloud formation stack. Mm -hmm. I deployed that stack, and mm -hmm. it deployed one website. The website mm -hmm. was not functional. So my job mm -hmm. was to find what's wrong. With the configurations create mm -hmm. a prescriptive guidance for yeah, the absolutely. customer so this so was they were about, as a customer. yeah so the, you're talking about the aws right or AWS, an yeah okay AWS, okay. yeah mm -hmm. so i had to troubleshoot that setup and i had mm -hmm. to create a prescriptive guidance the long-term mm -hmm. guidance and the short-term guidance mm -hmm. so i had to create the document and i shared it mm -hmm. and in and the final day of the interview mm -hmm. so there were five rounds okay in one single day and it, mm -hmm. it it lasts for almost six seven hours okay so i had so to this was uh, for that day. virtual or in office virtual you know okay. uh most of the interviews are happening virtually even till now yeah and uh so uh, one round was bar razor round you know mm -hmm. uh, amazon has this bar razor concept where mm -hmm. a person where a very experienced person from a completely mm -hmm. different team will come mm -hmm. and check your mm -hmm uh cultural fit for the company mm -hmm. we'll check the leadership principles mm -hmm. and then the second round was uh a leadership principle round where mm -hmm. uh one person checked my uh capabilities around two three leadership principles so each person is assigned a leadership principle to assess they mm -hmm. will assess me based on that leadership principle plus some technical mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. and there was a dedicated system design round where mm -hmm they acted as a customer and provided me a scenario i had to build the solution mm -hmm. you know using using I, you can either use open source services mm -hmm. or you can use aws services okay. or you can use other cloud services as well so okay. you are free to use any technology but you need to build the solution you need to draw it in okay. draw.io or similar kind of app okay. and while building the solution you need to keep in mind that the solution should be secure it should mm -hmm. be highly available reliable mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. should also be cost effective at the same time okay okay so these are the areas that they check mm -hmm. and after the system design round then comes the assignment round the document that i prepared so now i have to present that solution to the customer mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. what are your short-term solutions what are your long-term solutions mm -hmm. where was the error why your website was not functional that time mm -hmm. so i had yeah. to explain that mm -hmm. and uh, then there were two more rounds okay. which focused again on uh the leadership principles several okay. uh, other leadership principles which mm -hmm. was not covered previously okay so this was the entire process for uh aws <laughs> okay, okay i think you have articulated you know to the you know a straightforward uh, easy term i think everyone will be able to easily understand so i'm audible right okay yeah yeah so, yeah, you are audible. yeah also last time i think uh, i was also talking with one uh, person was uh, i think female candidate he's she's also in aws sd2 i think okay, okay. so i was so i was also listening his podcast or because uh, that time i also we have um, 
previous uh, i think interview or podcast we have recorded so i told like uh, also i you know running company so i facing lots of thing people are asking i need work life balance or good project so these are the things i think and also i got the very interesting answer she told yeah. okay once you go to adolus or uh, amazon so it is the person ask do you need good project work life balance or do you need you know uh, uh, i think uh, one more point was also there so i he, she told like whatever you need AW, uh, amazon have do you need good project or good uh, career exposure or do you need like 9 to 5 job so there might be looking 9 to 5 for their jobs there is not that level of too much learning in that projects yeah because they have everything but what you need so i i i try to follow the same principle like if you need uh, right. like work life balance or do you need uh, good projects or need to you know uh, build up your uh, career you know good projects or i think uh, if you are talking about the good projects so there there won't be any time boundaries and right because this all about yeah. passions what you are think about what you want to create something so so just explain a little about these things so how you think this will be valuable like yeah but it's, it's uh, she said the correct thing here you have the freedom to drive your career Mm-hmm. like suppose i don't want promotion okay mm-hmm. so i don't i i won't work at the next level i can stay okay. in, at my current level there is no okay. harm in that okay okay and it's me who decides mm-hmm. uh whether i will i i need the promotion or not if i need mm-hmm. the promotion i need to work for 6 months at the next level mm-hmm. and then i need to and before starting that work i need to inform my manager that i need promotion yeah. for the next 6 months i will be assessed on the next level and then i will be promoted just on okay. that so it's you who decides <laughs> yeah. when to get promotion or when yeah. to get not yeah. so so yeah that answer was exciting also i'm sure to two or three person okay so also sometimes i hiring for somebody coming uh, coming to for interview so i just st- told the thing sometime you know question people are very confused about what are the difference between challenges or pressures i also talk just little bit talk about what is chal- what you think is challenges or what is pressures okay so you were talking about see if something is uh, not able to solve so either it might be challenging or might be pressure so what do you think if you are talking about the pressure then mean you are not able to learn or not going to extra mile okay so then i saying is a pressure but if you are something or creator or problem solver so you uh, treat as a you know challenges right so because yeah. because else there is no difference right one person is negative if see pressure is in that term is a negative term okay but if you talk about the career so if you try to innovate or try to make some big things so so you treat as a challenge right so so these yeah. are i think these things also uh, want to i i will just no share okay yeah. yeah so we covered till aws yeah, yeah. yeah. now no yeah any any more questions on that journey i no, think no, i covered I, most of it yeah yeah, yeah. that thing because i've also not tried to ask too many questions because let's uh, go with the flow because i also getting that insight because uh, i was also listening okay so as a audience i also try to you know gain the uh, learning from ex- your uh, uh, what was your you know process what your uh, behind the mind you were talking about how you are delivering this information to the person the same intents and right so what you have felt in that one so so that was very interesting okay and <clears throat> yeah if you anything uh, if you have to share you can share then i go to the next yeah, prompt another thing uh, i i i would like to tell the students that uh, if you are good at programming that's great but okay. you know after yeah. 10 years 15 years you might mm-hmm. not work as an individual contributor you might okay. move to management okay, okay. okay. so yeah. there are other things that also you should learn mm-hmm. like uh, system design you know okay. how to create a real highly available reliable secure and cost effective system mm-hmm. that that every student or every developer should learn and they can use any resource there are plenty of mm-hmm. resources available also in youtube they okay. can also use udemy to learn system design mm-hmm. system design mm-hmm. is very important okay because so system, would, yeah yeah so system design is basically just give me like norm the height term just give in the top idea suppose i want to go offices okay so so how to implement uh, system design to day to day work suppose i am going to build one website okay so in that just simple term so that everybody can understand so in uh, when designing a website okay so yeah. how is system design it, is it's not only website okay so okay. first I mean, so website is okay. i mean system design can be about anything okay. it can be about a uh, machine learning solution it can okay. be about an analytic solution mm-hmm. so uh, and and uh, also 
yep so system design for example i need to design netflix i'm providing an example of netflix because okay, you know okay. netflix yeah. also runs on aws yeah, prime so video also runs on aws hotstar yeah. runs on aws everything runs on aws yeah yeah and most of the popular uh, sites and services mm. uh, that you see mm. they run on aws mm. so when when we talk about system design you know mm. you have the software ready like mm -hmm. you have the ui of the netflix ready okay. you know where to store the videos you know mm -hmm. which database mm -hmm. to use to keep track on about the users and, okay. and all those things you know what uh what authentication method you are using probably mm -hmm. you know uh, okta or microsoft ad or those kind of authentication okay so you, you you have a working solution and which you can run locally in your laptop probably okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, but how how will you scale this i mean certainly you cannot place it in a physical server in, at your office and you expect the entire world to mm. consume the content from it you know it doesn't yeah. have that capability <laughs> yeah. yeah because i face the same thing because when yeah. i uh, try to set up the company so uh, let's let's make it our own server okay so because yeah. also that a server cost was there also Every time you cannot wake up and just see if there is server down or not, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because also face the same thing because that time I was handling by individual. I was there only. Okay. And because that time also I work out 20 hours, 21 hours. Sometimes I will two days I haven't sleep. sleep okay. So next day I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to survive next day. This was thing like I'm losing my connection of the mind. Okay. So I thought, okay, this won't be no good. Uh, practice let's make it something uh, different so that time was a tried to a different thing uh, google cloud also tried uh, microsoft yeah. azure also tried but it wants to go to that because i was uh heard lots of about aws okay i'm just talking about any of our seniors so to go to aws so i don't i was saying okay first time i just went i was scared uh what can you do if you uh, use my credit card they will charge unnecessary what what will happen okay so because sometimes people are not going to because but, but they you know their company are giving that services they are you might be scared but they know how the things are happening this all the large enterprises using are you talking about this so i giving okay so i use one card there was no any balance okay so, okay. <laughs> so, so maybe five yes, or ten okay. rupees yeah just for that purpose okay let me go with this so then so i moved in these phases and then uh once you go to the aws i fit initially there was you know uh, uh, there was not fancy ui but there is more functional thing that you yeah. actually needed. Okay. Yeah. So you, so once I use it, so nowadays I'm using uh, whenever going to some other uh, clouds, I'm talking about if there is something AWS providing, do you have not, then I'm going to stick to AWS. Okay. So because there was it, for, I like four or five here and continuous UG, I'm not going to anywhere. Okay. Because everything is there. Okay. If there is something needed, so I, yeah. Uh, still i will go to the call to the support team i need these services can you do this obviously they have because currently i don't have much at that level of precon but currently we are all fulfilling this thing main thing was trust factors okay so i think mm -hmm. uh, you talk about this leadership you also i feel the same these things are reflecting in what are the employee they have also i'll go to their linkedin or you know read their blogs i i feel the same thing what do you talk about these details you know in this yeah. till now so i feel the same thing so I think that was very interesting because I also learned too much from you. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, anything and, else? And if you, that's the thing. I mean, yeah. uh, you, you, you are not able to sleep for 21 hours, 20 hours, you know, uh, we believe that as a customer, you should focus on the business. You should not okay. focus on, I mean, waking up to keep on yeah, yeah, these yeah, yeah. and this thing, you know, yeah, it affects was, your business. Yeah. Yeah, that was my mistake. I thought like this was mm -hmm. great learning because we cannot do this thing. Like one day you can do, but this cannot be practiced, right? So yep. it's yeah. not your job to run and maintain the servers. You, you can <laughs> hand yeah. over that job to AWS or any other mm -hmm. cloud provider. Yeah. They will take care of it. And yeah. we ensure that uh, the system is designed in such a way, like I was mm -hmm. talking about Netflix. Mm -hmm. Like you, you should design the Netflix in such a way that mm -hmm. It probably if you are using simple ec2 instances or like virtual machines it should be put into auto scaling group so okay. that when the traffic increases mm -hmm. the it will scale automatically you know the number of virtual machines that will keep yeah, on replicating yeah. so that it can handle the compute mm -hmm. similarly yeah in case of any disaster suppose you mm -hmm. are deploying your service in hyderabad region mm -hmm. if something happens to hyderabad region you know mm -hmm. then you should have a disaster recovery option for your 
um, solution, for example, Netflix. So that also needs to be designed, like mm -hmm. how the failover will work to Mumbai yeah. region or any mm -hmm. other region. Okay, and mm -hmm. you can also do cross country, you know, uh, disaster recovery if something happens. Yeah. yeah. So plus yeah. So so this is like like distributed uh, concept, right? Uh, yeah, this, I mean, this, it's always distributed concept within cloud. I mean, if you're okay. in, using single, uh, mm -hmm. if you're deploying your service in single availability zone or mm -hmm. in, in dual region, or uh, it's always distributed under the hood. Mm -hmm. But, okay. you know, uh, using disaster recovery means you are mm -hmm. isolating your workload so that if something happens to an entire region, if mm -hmm. something happens to multiple data centers within one region, still okay. you will be able to fail over to a completely different region mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. which has several mm -hmm. other availability zones and okay. you know aws has um, i mean all the cloud providers has this concept of region okay. within each region they have multiple availability zones and yeah. each availability zone con consists of uh, two or uh, one or more data centers okay. and these are powered i mean the electricity the water supply these are mm -hmm. uh, i mean these are not these are isolated so if okay. one thing uh, gets affected the other doesn't get the effect okay yeah so you need to distribute your workload accordingly so that it yeah, becomes yeah. and and also then we also design and an a system design how to make your workload secure like what you are doing to mm. make the data which uh, secure which is in transit what are you doing to make mm. the data secure um, mm. with the data which is at rest you know using encryption keys using key management uh, service those kind of things so okay. that's another thing and uh, Apart from that, there are various other services. You know, AWS has 220 plus services. So if you want to put analytics on top of the mm -hmm. user usage patterns, you can also put include those services into yeah, the architecture, yeah. into mm -hmm. the system. Mm -hmm. Though, uh, there are endless possibilities. Yeah, it's just like Ocean, you know, just you are following yeah. one river. <laughs> I also feel the same thing. Okay. So I, I there's still now there is no complaint. Oh. We I cannot say these are not exist. If there is something in AWS in cloud, there is any new concept you heard in cloud AWS if that exists. I feel the same. Yeah. This yeah. Thing. And yeah. and apart from that, we are releasing new features, new services every I mean every month. New features are released every month. New mm -hmm. services are released yearly, or mm -hmm. sometimes, well, like I think in 2020, 2021, we released more than 3,000 features. Okay. So it's it's ever increasing. And now mm -hmm. we have solution for almost every kind of use case that you can think about. Mm -hmm. OK, OK, that's interesting. So we, I think there is too much. Uh, have information to talk about so let's go to some you know go to the next form okay mm -hmm. so let's talk about like suppose nowadays the most of the schools are now targeting you know kids to study you know or go to the coding there is no there is no new job opportunity for everyone you should learn okay so just give just brief word like what you currently you are doing okay so how do your school system like have you done your science background or your which background you are like what is your stream in plus two how we are schooling uh subject so is is that what's helpful your coding this journey or how they was in affecting or maybe how they're helpful schooling part um, so my stream uh in in 11th and 12th standard it was science obviously okay. then i came to engineering because you know science yeah. should be your stream before coming into engineering or before if you before you appear mm -hmm. in the joint entrance exams okay and uh in in school i didn't know that anything like coding exists <laughs> yeah, i also the same thing i haven't learned i i only knew that there is microsoft paint <laughs> microsoft <laughs> word excel powerpoint mm -hmm. and uh in, in class 10 and 11 we came to know that okay there is orkut there is facebook okay. and that's it that uh, there is youtube that's <laughs> yeah. it <laughs> yeah, yeah. so yeah, in yeah. college uh, in the first year when i came to know about coding you know mm. uh, people were already doing coding competitions that time mm -hmm. and because you know most of the students were familiar with coding yeah. and uh, uh, and in our board i didn't take computer science as a subject I okay. took biology because mm -hmm. I aspired to become a doctor previously. And then <laughs> okay. I realized that I can't become because, you know, whenever I see blood, I just faint. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. 
<laughs> so yeah, then co coding took a lot of time to learn, and yeah, uh, yeah. I I initially used I, uh, I initially used books mm -hmm. like Let Us See. Mm -hmm. That was helpful, but you know the most helpful uh, coding lessons for a beginner, I would say. Uh, it was YouTube, and I, I actually forgot the channel name, but there was a teacher uh, from Bihar who used to teach in Hindi. The, the, all the C programs and all the loops and everything, how to answer. So that, that, that was the starting point of understanding the code so that I can write codes myself. OK, OK. And so yeah, that, that I uh, got the point. So like, uh, 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 I'm talking about like, what are the current education system? Like uh, currently you are in UK, right? So have oh. you any uh, experience about how they are, you know, schooling they are, are so how they are, uh, I think I talk about the same thing, like how they are coding different from the, you know, UK and US. so currently. Coding is not different. I mean, uh, here, I mean, in, in, the, in India, you have that competition, like everybody runs to get science or yeah. anything here. It's not like that here. I mean, every stream has value okay so nobody pushes you to choose science after <laughs> you, you, you pass plus 10 so yeah. you have that freedom to choose the subjects and the mm -hmm. stream and every stream has job here it's unlike india that you if you only study engineering or a medical yeah. you're, you're here all the sectors have jobs even in our office in amazon also there are mm -hmm. plenty of people who doesn't have a technical degree you know Okay. People who have studied history, people mm -hmm. who have studied political science, they are also working on Amazon as an engineer, as an architect. So yeah. here, that's a huge contrast that you will see mm -hmm. in India because of the competition. Yeah. First, uh, um, people get people get filtered based on their degree, mm -hmm. and that's not the case here. Here, they have lack of uh, people, lack of workforce, so they cannot discriminate with uh, their technical degree. So mm -hmm. if you, you might be having a degree in physics, you might be having a degree at uh, maths. Mm -hmm. I have plenty of colleagues in my team who are having those kind of degrees and working as a senior solution architects. Yeah. Some even working as a principal. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a contrast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The most of the people have you found any good engineer, so they are computer science, either maybe IIT yeah. or IIT Institute of Colleges. Okay, so that because science biology or you can say a little bit of commerce the rest of the days no any you know all, all i say yeah. i told the same thing all all have value but in what are the schooling that we got the knowledge and all the uh, teachers they all to go if you are very talented yeah. go to the science little, a little bit not that much level your school little go go with commerce you know a little bit biology if you are more interested yeah. <laughs> and then um I, other than that nobody are, are talking about rest of thing is no value right but there is value once you go to graduation there is almost every subject have there you know because uh yeah, we cannot decide like which are going to be, you know, which yeah. are going to be do more uh, life changing for you. What are the things are because uh, just to have a deep dive in any of these courses, right? A subject. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was interesting. So, law, let's uh, go to the next one. Okay, so I think this was covered almost. So, So just I think job search uh, strategy. So do you have any strategy how to uh, in somebody want to apply for these tops companies? So what job you search. Uh, so you know in India there are multiple platforms. Here also in UK there are multiple platforms. But I think uh, LinkedIn is the place which needs to be focused. Yeah, LinkedIn Your just profile like needs to be up to date. Your profile should look attractive. Mm -hmm. It should have all the relevant keywords. Mm. when recruiters and it should have all the relevant skills mentioned mm. as well you know there is a skill section when okay. whenever recruiters search with a particular skill it matches mm. with that skill section only then your profile comes up if mm. the skill section doesn't contain the keywords your mm. profile won't come up in the searches okay. and uh, the certif certifications are also really important so yeah. i would say do millions of certification don't mm. do that do mm. If you are having, I mean, each year you should focus to get two certifications. Mm. One is also fine, but it should mm. be relevant. If you are working as a software developer, probably mm. you should do some cloud certifications like cloud solutions architect or cloud developer. So mm. that you are building the software, you should also know how to deploy the software in cloud. So 
so that you okay. can make the your software available so it should be relevant okay so, so, uh, recently my one friend got the like a ws certificate so how they are important like so they are going to get more opportunity or if yeah. they are... okay so like uh, uh, cloud jobs they are they, they have been hot since uh, 2017 hmm. 18 Okay. And you know uh, our partners like Accenture, Deloitte, TCS, mm -hmm. Wipro, mm -hmm. EY, mm -hmm. all the consulting companies they mm -hmm. hire they are hiring heavily okay. from all these companies. Even now, all the banks, mm -hmm. companies like McKinsey, BCG, they are all hiring cloud engineers. So having certification is really an important criteria for them. If you don't have that certification, probably you, they won't even call you or they 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 won't even send you an email or invite. Okay, okay so that's that's why the certification is really important yeah so cloud is also going in the top right so i mean yeah. <laughs> and if, i mean if you're applying in google if you're applying in amazon mm -hmm. then your certification doesn't matter much you know okay but if you're applying in consulting companies any other companies who are hiring people mm -hmm. who, who are having these skill sets then certification matters okay Okay, yeah, fine. So next coming to the next round. So uh, these are not uh, depth ones. So let's talk about what are your uh, in your engineering. What is final year projects and what was your roles? <laughs> these are very basic things. And, and I think most of the I also feel the same thing. If you're four person, you are just working everything. The rest is just participant. They are not working. So how was? It? Yeah, final year project. So so I did uh, two three projects in my college days and uh, almost all of them were um, like in a website hospital mm -hmm. management system okay. this kind of things okay the common ones that okay that yeah, yeah. but uh, then in, in in the final year project uh, i did something mm -hmm. on wireless sensor networks mm -hmm. you know it, it was a simulation of wireless sensors which measures heat humidity those kind of things okay. in modern days it would be iot Okay. okay okay back okay. then it was i mean the thing iot keyword was not that popular mm -hmm. so you know so, what, what was, was your major in btech or what was your major uh, it's it information oh. technology oh yeah, okay okay yeah. yeah so in wireless sensor networks you do obviously mm -hmm. you don't have physical sensors mm -hmm. but in matlab you have mm -hmm. the option to simulate physical mm -hmm. sensors as a virtual one mm -hmm. and so you you create an area you can deploy all the virtual mm -hmm. sensors ap around those area and you can also simulate the temperatures mm -hmm. the humidity all mm -hmm. those things and mm -hmm. you can gather the data you can create the graphs so mm -hmm. my project was around that how we can make the existing algorithms more efficient so there are algorithms algorithms like leech okay. the leech is a very, very uh, popular algorithm l e s e h mm -hmm. and i took that uh, code of leech which is available and I, integrated mm -hmm. in matlab i mm -hmm. tuned some parameters and i found like scenario based uh, uh, optimizations like if you want this this parameter needs to be optimized if you want mm -hmm. this these parameters needs, needs to be optimized and i generated a couple more graphs in matlab and uh, showed that to the okay. project but i think you have selected a hard project but i don't think it's a common project because <laughs> i have no we were given that project by the oh, teachers okay, that okay, we, okay. Went, we didn't have the freedom to choose the project for, for yeah the yeah final. i think most of the person we are you know so their slogan like you know library management school management this was you know on the top you know so are you talk are you know so library it's management? really hard i mean I, I matlab is a very complex software and yeah, uh, yeah. I was, you know we I were used... already struggling with eclipse and those mm. ids and mm. then came matlab mm. and initially i was like what what do i do with this mm. then i found some useful resources uh, by googling and youtube mm. and then i did experiment for about two three weeks continuously mm. and then i was able to at least simulate and i mean you know adjust the figures change the parameters in the code okay, okay. You know, then i i had to understand the matlab code for the simulation for that so yeah, yeah it, it became easy at the last yeah, yeah. but oh. matlab there is no much of the material available so some of the yeah. software is that is paid right so also yes. 
I use for one week, but I'm just let it be there because that's about one uh, client was there as you know two years. One was our client, so there was connected with two years. But we are told, see, we are not going to any uh, developer on that. So this is uh, they told, okay, just give me just how we can use that basic one i don't need any hard one just i have yeah. to showcase in my college something like that. so that time will just let give me try just given that one thing then that time i find okay there's not much of material because or also there won't be any much you know scope or most of the person electrical electronic their person i think there might be diode or something they are uh, i think i don't know how these are accurate so they i think most of they are a student using so, but not the computers and person i i haven't seen any person using matlab there might be other skills. MATLAB uh, is uh, being used. Uh, it's mostly used by research scientists. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. yeah PhD for simulation, and we mm -hmm. engineers don't use that much. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's because it's a simulation software. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also a heavy one. Mm -hmm. Like I think most yeah. of the system, um, you know, common configuration, the the default one, that down to work. There need some specific, you know, configuration. Yeah. I have to think. Oh, yes. That. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's do uh, uh, select two or three more points. So let's yeah. what is the philosophy of time management tips? Okay. So how you're managing your time, how you're balancing your life, how you're balancing your work. Okay. And how you suggest somebody want to be a, a successful career like you. Okay. So how they can manage on learning, how they can manage on the you know personal thing. You know, also be happy. Being happy as a developer is also tough time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how you. Uh, balance that things so it it becomes i mean managing time becomes difficult when you are outside at your home like uh, if you are staying in okay. bangalore alone not with your family okay. or if you are staying in london it's even harder in london you know <laughs> because everything you have to do yourself mm -hmm. uh, like from cleaning the uh, clothes to cleaning the plates the dishes everything you need to do everything yourself from cooking mm -hmm. So time management, I mean, if you don't follow a schedule, it becomes difficult to manage time here. Like in mm -hmm. India, I used to, sometimes I used to wake up at 2 p.m. during mm -hmm. weekends. Okay. You know? And <laughs> because I knew that my mother is with me and everything, I don't need to take care of any of the thing. And, <laughs> but here, you know, if, if you wake up at 2, 2 p.m. and uh, you will see that uh, there are plenty mm -hmm. of things left to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, so okay. to, I mean, yeah, your work in w when you join a company, the initial days are really tough because you know you you are on the learning curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you need to you need to put that extra time. Like, uh, uh, and, and whenever the pressure increases, uh, so usually I go to gym, mm -hmm. but uh, when the pressure increases, I I, I stop going there, and mm -hmm. I just focus on the work. Probably seven eight hours of work, and then mm -hmm. at least two three hours of study, mm -hmm. and I have to compromise on my sleep a little bit on during that time. Okay. You know, instead of sleeping at uh, mm -hmm. eleven thirty or twelve, pro mm -hmm. probably I need to sleep at one thirty or two. And instead of having eight hours of sleep, I might get five to six hours of sleep. But you know, the, these uh, phases are temporary; they are not permanent. Like right. now, it's been seven eight months at AWS, and now mm -hmm. you know things have settled now uh instead i don't need to stay awake at night to study or anything okay, okay. but initially so, it's, it's, initially yeah. it's tough for every job i mean when you join yeah. a new job yeah. or mm -hmm. uh, yes, if you're starting a new project initial mm -hmm. days the ramping up days they are really mm -hmm. tough yeah. so and then um, you know as uh, this is my fifth company mm -hmm. i have already done this five times in the last six seven years okay so it has become a regular thing for me even okay. preparing for the interviews, those mm -hmm. days are suppose you are having you are doing nine ten hours of work every day. Mm -hmm. above, above that, you have interview preparation coming. Mm -hmm. So those days are really brutal. You mm -hmm. need to dedicate sixteen seventeen hours. Yeah, day. yeah. So is so is there any some challenging task till now? Like uh, till now your journey, what was, if you talk about? So what was more challenging or tough? think uh, in task or anything it can be or uh, either maybe personal level item maybe task level work level. so what were the till now were your uh, challenging task till now challenging task like each task is challenging when you start you know yeah, the, yeah. Okay. So, 
everything is challenging so like now i have started my data analytics journey mm. it's been mm. two three months i had the certification mm. and once you clear the certification that's just the beginning i mean that's the very basic that doesn't contain anything i would say and mm -hmm. now i'm every day when i'm building some projects or POCs, i'm facing challenges like why this is not working i'm just googling <laughs> and i'm not able to find the answer okay. then i'm trying to find the correct people who will be able mm -hmm. to answer so mm -hmm. the, i mean there are different kind of challenges in different phases yeah and, and uh so yeah. I, I mean, one, one like more person one yeah. framework yeah yeah go ahead yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there was one question related to that, like how senior colleague contribution is important. So how oh. senior was helpful for you and how yes, yes. you believe in that? Like uh, is there any friends or any, uh, yeah, just a little bit talk about how your uh, contribution of the colleagues or seniors. Co colleagues contribution, uh, they these contributions, I think they're the m most important one in my career, you know, okay. uh, irrespective, irrespective of the companies in mm -hmm. uh, wherever I have worked, they mm -hmm. have played a significant role in developing mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. so Whether it be it software development, be it networking, be it cloud computing, mm -hmm. they had a huge influence of me. Like uh, in the initial six, seven months, eight mm -hmm. months, I, I always, try to get uh, keep in touch with them mm -hmm. and whenever re before replying to any customer if mm -hmm. i have any doubt i always reach mm -hmm. out to them and they provide additional insights mm -hmm. or additional tips which i use going forward and i mean without the help of senior colleagues or colleagues it's very mm -hmm. difficult to move ahead in your career you cannot do it alone yeah yeah definitely because you don't do know it. what the things going to next okay because something basic information is uh, you know that time saving also, you know, because sometimes you are giving yeah. multiple wrong steps. Senior give you one idea, you can work on this. You can save your time also. Health as well, you go, you know. But like if you are having uh, plenty of free time, mm -hmm. then then I would say that don't reach up to senior directly. First, try mm -hmm. yourself, do mm -hmm. all the yeah, possible yeah. ways because you will learn a lot during that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and suppose you need to pro you need to deliver something within one hour to the customer, and you are stuck somewhere. You need you need immediate help. Then you should obviously bring all the relevant people yeah. to resolve that yeah this urgent one and uh, the, the yeah. urgent line or client there might be new directly client uh the way new business is affecting right so they go with the senior, yeah i mean right? the balancing should be there you should not always go to the seniors for every other thing mm -hmm. and also you should not i mean try to do it yourself uh, in, in such an extent that the customer gets affected in the delivery so you need to make that balance yeah 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 definitely yeah so i think most of the things that we have covered there is one more two things but i don't think that is more uh, yeah. um, um, relevant for this one okay so so what is the current like a uh, uh, goal or not i'm think about let's talk about what your next like you have already achieved too many things eh? what your next what do you want to wish for in the future uh, i mean <laughs> there is not an uh, i mean still it's I, I would say it's it's a normal achievement it's not many because you know there are plenty of people at in my experience who are doing the same job so okay. I, I i i don't say that okay. this is an a uh, very this is a very big achievement okay. so my next goal is like i'm focusing heavily on the learnings the mm -hmm. analytics part that i'm trying to learn now mm -hmm. i'm trying to help the customers and i'm mm -hmm. trying to grow within AWS, I'm not thinking about going anywhere else right now. Because, you know, uh, uh, there comes a time when when switching jobs won't give you anything. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I have reached that plateau when now if I switch a job, mm -hmm. you know, it will just increase my salary a bit. Otherwise, there is not going to be a benefit. And it's going to look more bad in my resume that I have only worked for these I mean, a very short amount of time in a company like AWS. So right now I'm just focusing on learning things and delivering to the customers. And I'm also mm -hmm. looking mm -hmm. for a promotion probably next year. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's my next goal. And I don't believe in very long term goals because, you know, mm -hmm. you never know what will happen after five years, after 10 years. Okay. I believe in very short goals and I work on that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that is a oh, good one because nowadays, you know, lots of 
people are already working somewhere lots companies always top company in the india i'm talking about but they you know they uh, saw some youtube or they're talking about talking about uh, let's um, do a startup or do these things um, without any experience so so they are talking about okay i'm working in this company also when i want to parallelly run some startup take entrepreneurship so they are saying okay i can do both parallelly i also tell see both the things you cannot parallelly do a success you know they did both need yeah. too much effort you know then focus be, needs to be in one place you know if you are yes. distributing the focus in two things none of the things are getting done perfectly yeah yeah definitely for saying okay i'm doing this one that is fine if you have free time you can do that for fine but if you're taking a serious business or taking serious about your business like uh -huh. in five or ten years i want to do this thing i don't think uh, <laughs> two things will uh, you know give more Wow. I'm not saying that it's impossible. There, you will find yeah, yeah, plenty of people possibly. already have done that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have keep that capability. <laughs> I personally would have cho chosen one particular thing about doing two things parallel. Okay, okay, yeah. So, so Ron, kindly, what are things? So, just give me one any hypothetical suggestion. So, is what type of uh, anything software website think you should be, but you haven't find kindly? Just anything. So, you think this oh. web website should be this app, this that type of website? that's a great question yeah uh, what i can do you know i mean while doing day-to-day -day work uh, mm -hmm. we face lots of problems mm -hmm. and uh, what i will do i will think about one such problem that i face probably i can let you know later because you know i cannot just randomly make up any problem <laughs> yeah, it should yeah. be a very relevant problem mm -hmm. and uh, and i have faced similar problems but right now it's it's not mm. in my cache memory, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah that's uh... okay. I think uh, uh, I don't have more question because I also covered too much things. Okay, and also get to know from what was your thought process, what are the things patterns, and what are things uh, working for you. <clears throat> okay. So yeah. So that's it. So if you have anything to share, more than that, you can share, or else. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know that this interview it was not a developer focused interview. Yeah, yeah, just but give uh, I hope students will find some uh, information <laughs> about the other roles which are available in the industry. Yeah, 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 definitely because this was give you like what are the things um, as you know what are the originalities just give you no raw format so that you know get yeah. just try to best or like, try to learn or get insight from based on your you know interpretations of what the things are because you know lots of i think if you have published this um, youtube or this or i think interview i think most of people will be excited to know like how the person is you know sometimes they're working in sony rex and got the google left to google go to the aws and i think most this is going to excite it to anybody because also uh, i think most more of the people you know they all on this top company so they are very much data structure algorithm geeks okay so they are not very hard like they can solve the you know, uh, np hard that is law you know hard problem you know greedy that is all yeah. dynamic programming i own that level but i think but i think uh for i as a nun i think it might be this is not common path what other thing i follow i don't think if uh it will be same opposite but i think uh, when you have started, you know, Google Cloud, okay, so that time you have got the opportunity, right? Yeah. So I think in that domain, that was unique according to your journey, I think. But I think <laughs> I nobody can follow the same one. It might be different. Yeah, one, right? no, we, we, you, you always need to be curious. And uh, I mean, I, there is only one tip from me. Like, if you are feeling that you have got comfortable with your job, yeah, there yeah. needs to be some change, you know, mm. and uh, that's an indication and you should follow this for at least the beginning of seven eight years of your career not mm -hmm. after that i mean you know then you once you have 10 12 years of experience then you should also focus on getting some management experience the leadership mm -hmm. experience yeah, because yeah. you you can't be a developer or an architect for your entire life yeah yeah obviously like one person can you know Mm, write some amount of one models we can create but if you have knowledge that management developer you can say basically not basic like you have leadership skills so you can uh, develop any software you know complete software you can make the team how they can team work okay but individually yeah. you cannot you know manage or create whole software you can yeah. just work it's in college impossible. that's fine 
but as a enterprise level so that yeah. person can work you know so that is very challenging not a challenging these are how the enterprises work where it should yeah. in enterprises when you should be restrict to personal project where you should go to the you know uh, this um yeah all the tech world entrepreneurship there there's a walking right yeah yeah like from from top level view you need to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see how things are working yeah, yeah we should avoid the view from the bottom level like if mm -hmm. i'm building a software i shouldn't only focus on that i should also <laughs> understand about the business yeah, yeah. yeah. at the end yeah, ultimately the business is there because i was mm -hmm. not going to survive for longer right yep. <laughs> yeah 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 i think this was a long conversation i think almost yeah. we have covered 10 hours oh, sorry one and a half hours one and a half hours yeah I think this was been a fantastic conversation with you, Rohan. So, so uh, go with, uh, should we close or go with uh, uh, anything? I think. Yeah, I think uh, it was fantastic meeting you after five or no more than, it's been more than six years. I, yeah. I remember we used to stay together yeah. in Kolkata in, yeah, in yeah. the same flat uh, during hmm. our, the beginning of our journeys. And yeah, yeah, that a was lot the has changed since that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th that th these are the more thing. Also, let's connect with Ruhan because sometimes. So definitely, because I also, if you go back, you know, I was thinking like how from where where we can go. I, no one, no one know, right? But the yeah. only concern is be a stay in that industry domains and be and little bit dedications and devotions of what we can say or just be with the flow and give yeah. some doing a lot of research in linkedin works yeah, like yeah. what other people are doing what the seniors mm -hmm. are doing what what how their career path have been that mm -hmm. shows a lot of things mm -hmm. yeah okay so okay. i okay yeah okay. it was great talking to you and, yeah yeah uh, so thank you for sharing your incredible journey and valuable insight with our audience okay we certainly thank you uh, your experience we are also will ins uh, inspire and motivate the others developer community okay so thank you so much everyone so maybe we'll talk a uh, little bit more about this official uh, you know uh, interview okay? Yep. Yep. okay we'll meet again then yeah 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 bye bye bye, -bye. thank you